Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. The scene around downtown Youngstown's Realty Tower has changed from no movement at all to the first steps toward demolition. Tomorrow, the tenants will get a suitcase full of belongings, the process of which the firefighters union is not happy about. And there was another statement today from the building's owners focused on the decision to demolish. Getting ready to demolish is our top story tonight at 10. A large crane sat idly this evening, spanning most of the 13 floors of downtown Youngstown's Realty Tower. The damage from the May 28th gas explosion still very much visible. A man in a yellow vest stood watch as another sanded an exposed steel beam. Out back, a backhoe removed debris. Out front, piles of stone waited to be used, all part of the process leading up to demolition. I've been in multiple meetings um, where you've heard, you know, save it, you know, or tear it down. Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown this afternoon sat in his office shortly after the city's firefighters union issued a statement advising its members, primarily for safety reasons, to not volunteer for tomorrow's effort to gather belongings left behind by the Realty Towers tenants. Fire Chief Barry Finley says despite the union's warning, he will help. Mayor Brown says other firefighters are volunteering too. We applaud them. They're, they're saying, you know what, this is a unique challenge. Uh, they're trained to do this, and we believe that that's the only ones that should be in the building. Late this afternoon, the owners of the Realty Tower released a statement reiterating that according to five engineering firms, demolition is the best course to quickly reopen downtown. The owners also had something to say to their critics. Quote, we never intended to be the subject of ridicule, salacious and unfounded accusations, and insulted by community members who we've worked alongside in this city. Our city can no longer be held hostage by unnecessary opinions, baseless ideas, and endless chatter. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.